Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 23 online game. Today we have the Battle of LA, it's the Rams versus the Chargers in an online ranked match, and I, I already played with the Rams, but I definitely want to upload this game because I had a pretty cool finish, and I want to spend a little bit of our video here at the beginning talking about how we feel about Madden 23 so far, because the game's been out for a couple of days for a lot of us, but there's also a lot of people that are just going to be getting the game today. The standard edition of Madden 23 releases Friday, today. People are just hopping on the sticks and trying to feel the game out. So, you know, for those people who are trying to, you know, figure out what's going on with the game, trying to get caught up, you know, I kind of want to put my two cents on how I'm feeling about playing this game so far since we've been playing it since Monday, right? As we are going to fire a definite interception on fourth down. That was a Stevie one to read right there for sure. My opponent's actually going to make one back right here and get it. Joshua Palmer. There he goes, mussing a man. And that is going to be a taunt and a touchdown. You guys know I love the taunts. So I, I can just only tip my cap in respect for him that was a good taunt good job man but we're gonna have to get you back at some point for sure so Madden 23 there's a number of key new features out here um the main one you probably heard about is the new skill based passing and i gotta say i'm more impressed with the skill based passing than what i when i was when it was announced in june because you know, we had target passing on, like, Madden 18 or something like that, and that was pretty trash. Uh, this skill-based passing, man, like, if you take the time to learn how to use skill-based passing, man, like, it might legitimately be the future of Madden. And I saw someone comparing it to the skill-based passing to the pitch, uh, pitch zone in MLB The Show that they added for when you're pitching you uh I don't know exactly how it works. I don't play on the show, but um, just from watching MLB the show games, I, I, I see what people are talking about where you are in control of where the ball goes. That's what you want when you're using your quarterback, right? And you're making these passes and you see open windows that the game of Madden sometimes doesn't register. You can make it happen yourself as we throw an easy touchdown to Cooper Cup. I don't know why my opponent tried to guard him one-on-one -on -one with Asante Samuel Jr., but you don't want that smoke with the Triple Crown Super Bowl MVP winner Cooper Cup, all right, my guy? So that'll be a tie game right there. So, yeah, I, I haven't dabbled too much into the, into the passing mechanics, but I really like what I'm seeing so far from it. Now, let's talk a little bit about defense because... The defensive meta right now, if you don't know, is man press as we get a nice third down stop there from Aaron Donalds. I mean, shout out to AD for completely blowing up that play. Fourth down and 10 from zone 25. My opponent's actually going to go for it here. Uh, big decision, but in online rank matches, it don't really matter. You're just, you know, going to let it fly as Donald gets the hit, but it goes to Keenan Allen for the first down. Jalen Ramsey caught sleeping. For some reason, I can't get Jalen Ramsey to do anything good in any of these games. Anyways, uh, yeah, so the defensive meta is man press right now. A lot of people are running a play out of nickel 3-3 called LB Blitz Zero, where there's two looping blitzers that are borderline unblockable, so it's a cover zero blitz. Um, you're always getting heat. And with the man press, by the time the heat gets in there, people are not really getting off the press for the most part. And, you know, it is blockable, but you have to, like, block, like, eight guys. So it's a little weird, but, I mean, otherwise, right? Like, man press being good, not exactly a bad thing, right? As long as there's not, like, an unblockable LB blitz that you need to block eight people for. Because that's just annoying. Because everybody's going to run that and make you have to sweat. But otherwise, like, I... I I don't want to say I love it, but I, I think it's interesting that, like, I mean, man man coverage should be, should be viable. I feel like man press, like, pressing the better receivers in the league with some of the not-so-better cornerbacks works a little bit better than it should. But otherwise, like, you know, we do need that mix of man and zone coverage both being good instead of people just, you know, sitting in cover three sky or cover four drop the whole game like it is in some Maddens as we get intercepted here. So I, I like the way it it is. Maybe it can use a little tweaking, but we can't have them over adjust to where like the man press is dead, right? Like we don't we don't want that. We want man coverage to be viable. It should be viable and um, if you're not able to make those reads in time because the press is good, then, you know, you tip your cap to your opponent. But um, there has to be, you know, 
there has to be better counters to it for sure as we end the first half with a Hail Mary attempt that goes awry. Tie ball game here, but the action's definitely about to pick up in this second half. It almost ended though because my opponent here, he was going to, he tried to offer me a friendly quit here. He paused the game and offered me a friendly quit. I didn't know it at the time until after the game, but he had sent me a message saying that he got called into work. First of all, you got called into work. Like, why are we doing a friendly quit, man? Like, there's no freebies in online Madden. What do you think this is? <laughs> Second of all, if he was got if he got called into work, why is he still playing this game? Like, what? He got called into work and he played the rest of this Madden game. So he sacrificed go like going into work late to play the rest of this game. Like, what? When the what? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I'll show you. The message will probably show up on the screen. But anyways. Yeah, so that's, that's my feelings on that. Um, some of the animations in this game, you know, I, got, I feel like a lot of people break tackles in this game. Uh, it, it's not, like, fluid enough. Like, they just bounce off of defenders like pinballs sometimes on offense. It's kind of weird. I'm never a fan of tackle battles being in the game where you got to spam the A button. Like, that, that kind of stuff I feel like never should be in Madden, but it always finds its way into a Madden game every couple of years. But that's just my personal opinion on that. Some people might like it. Um, you know, some some of like the one-on-one -on -one animations where you're throwing it like in one v one coverage, whether it's a jump ball or just in general, are very inconsistent. Whether it's an interception, it's a mossing grab, it's a breakup. It just feels super inconsistent. But in a way, that's a good thing, right? Because football is a very inconsistent game. You can throw up balls like that. And you're gonna get a different result just about every single time, right? Like here, we got completely bailed down and get a touchdown with Cooper Cup, but that's the way football is played. It's it's such an inconsistent sport in that aspect. And like, if you're trying to, if Madden is trying to be sim, we'll say, right? Versus just being a formula of good play versus bad play, then that's a good thing. Now, it is frustrating because you want to be rewarded, let's say, for playing good defense and. You know, pass is swatted or an offense, you're doing something that was just a catch, and next thing you know, it's an interception. You're like, I did the same thing. Why am I getting two different results? So, you know, that's that's up for debate whether that's a good thing or not. But you'll definitely notice in this game, like, if you're throwing one on one balls, you're going to get different results, different times. Risk a reward, it's up to you whether you want to do it. But, you know, like, like you guys saw, I threw up a third down and 20 prayer to Cooper Cup, and that is caught more often than it has been in past Maddens. Dare I say, those aggressive catches are as good as they've been since Madden 16. Not as good as Madden 16 because um, it was it was kind of toxic. That was the first year they uh, introduced aggressive catching, and it, it was kind of crazy. Uh, by the way, a little glitch here. I, I did a lateral in the end zone, and we're going to get the ball at our own 20 instead of our own 25, right? The uh, 25 is a touchback. I don't know why we got a, we got penalized five yards for being stupid. Like, I'll take it, but um, that's not the way to, it's interpreted in the rule books, Madden. I'm not sure what's going on there. As we, oh, my, deliver a dot to Cooper Cup, and he's loose. Cooper Cup's going to do it again. I think he scored all three touchdowns for us, man. Cooper Cup is absolutely dominating, keeping us in the game. And uh, that wasn't a jump ball. That was just a nice little dime, right? We run the, the slot fade. Cover two beater worked to perfection. And Matt Stafford with that zip, able to get it in there. And, yeah, you'll notice Matt Stafford is now a superstar out here in regs. A uh, number of different guys, you know, like uh, Justin Herbert, he's got abilities. Keenan Allen's always had abilities. He's always been nice. And he's letting us know about it. Oh, Allen just tripped up. He nearly had a one-play touchdown on his own. We're starting the fourth quarter, and the action's starting to pick up as Aaron Donald is making moves. So overall, man, before we get into this fourth quarter, because it's about to get good, I, I'm enjoying Man 23. I'm definitely enjoying Man 23 more than I have any Madden for the past couple of years. Man 20 was boring. Man 21... It was all right, but we had the switch over from next gen and current gen in the middle of the cycle, and that just made the game feel, it was just weird. And Madden 22 was just too easy on offense. Like, um, it was just, it was broken, man. Escape artists, there was a lot of broken things about Madden 22. Oh, that's an interception. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar. Oh, but we fumbled the bag. We dropped the cookie right back out, and we got a sack there by Bobby Wagner, but man, we should have the ball right now. As my opponent goes back to the screen pass, this time Aaron Donald blows it up. He is way behind the sticks here. Third down and goal at the 23. Smacked. It's Donald again. And 
And here we go with 219 left. He's going to line up for the field goal. So that's my man in thoughts, man. Uh, let me know how you guys are feeling about the game. If you just got it today or if you've been playing it for the past couple of days. Very curious to hear how you guys feel about the game. But right now, we got some business to take care of. We got a money drive to try to put together. And Matt Stafford rolling. Oh, he missed him. This is like the Super Bowl, right? We're down. We need a score. And we're going to get Allen Robinson. He wasn't a part of the Super Bowl team, but... You know, we need somebody to take that place for Odell. Uh, Stafford launching for Cooper Cup. Oh, that's going to go incomplete. I saw a matchup with Drew Tranquil, so I had to give him a chance. Second down. This is open, and Cobb tried to hit the spin move. That wasn't a good idea. Clock is moving. We're near 90 seconds to go in regulation. Remember, a field goal does tie the game here. Oh, tight coverage to Higby. It won't be a first down. Tranquil makes the tackle, and the game is on the line as we go no auto. We're going to go five wide. Oh, but my opponent didn't want it. He called the timeout. That was a... No, that was us. No, no, that was my opponent. I'm getting confused. It's a Chargers timeout. LA versus LA. Very confusing. What's not confusing is this decision. Easy to make. Wide open. Tyler Higby first down. Just what we needed. We still have all of our timeouts. We're in a good position here to try to drive. We're already in field goal range. We want more. Cooper Cup helping out. And there it is. The first timeout for our Rams. 22 yards away with 38 seconds to spare. Stafford dropping back once again. Oh, just getting that throw off to Cam Akers. That Chargers pass rush is lethal. We're not expecting to have a lot of time. No timeout. Clock is ticking here. Play action for Stafford. Here comes Bosa. Oh, and nearly picked off. Incomplete. That was a big time waste there for a whole lot of nothing. As Stafford, watch out. It's Bosa again. Got it to Akers. Good play. And that's a first down. Get that timeout in. That's our second of three timeouts with eight seconds to spare. We got to keep in mind, we have the field goal in our back pocket if we need it. Stafford, watch out. Bosa. Joey Bosa is wrecking the game right now. Four seconds to go. Do we kick the field goal now or do we take a shot? We'll take a shot with Stafford. Got it. Cooper Cup. He comes up clutch again. The Super Bowl MVP. The Triple Crown winner for a reason. Cooper Cup does it again. Just two seconds to go. And we've got ourselves a lead where my opponent needs a touchdown. But he doesn't have a lot of time. We do the sky kick to Nazir Adderley. He's going to let it go. Watch out. Live football. And wow, that was a mistake because now my opponent has to go 93 yards as if this wasn't going to be hard enough. Justin Herbert's got a cannon from his own end zone. Swatted and incomplete. And we just hang on to win the game. Nice money drive led by Matt Stafford. And the Rams still got it. Cooper Cup definitely still got it right there. Whew, what a game. GG's to my opponent, man. Fun game, fun game. Just some final Madden 23 thoughts before we wrap this video up that just came to my head after I finish. So I like the balance of run versus pass in the game right now. Running, it feels like it takes skill, and one of the skill sets you need is using the left trigger to use hard cuts to find lanes. I really like the use of the hard cut feature this year. It's a feature Madden's been trying to implement for a couple of years to make cuts behind the line of scrimmage and uh, make, like, you know, precision moves. And I feel like this year they absolutely nailed it, so I really love that. Passing is definitely tougher than it was in Madden 22 since the coverage is better. And in general, like, you know, it, it might be a little bit of a skill-based thing where you might have to use that uh, skill-based passing to fit the ball into some of those tight windows. We'll see how the game evolves, but, you know, I'm liking the direction of Madden 23 so far more than I have the past couple of years. So I'm, I'm optimistic about the game. Uh, nonetheless, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more Madden 23 gameplays. Let me know what you guys think about the game in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.